three bottles as we jingle along with the ice cream man that's playing outside this restaurant. You're not getting the ice cream. We ain't got no goddamn money for your goddamn ice cream. What up, everyone? Welcome to the season premiere of The Brew Review. I'm your host, Red Ace, Red Ace Productions, and let's get this whole thing started. All right, so first I'd like to apologize to every single person out there I know on the Facebook account. We said that a new Brew Review was going to happen on Saturday night, but unfortunately, we are filming on Saturday night, so this will be around breakfast, lunch, you know, or brunch in between. Uh, but we do have our breakfast. We're eating breakfast with you guys. Look at that, you know? I mean, I'm going to have a little sausage right here, you know, a little sausage. A little breakfast sausage right there. Mmm. Mmm. All right, so bear with me. This is a brew review. Don't worry. This ain't a, this ain't a lunch brew. <laughs> All right, a little. It's right there. <laughs> put, the, put, the, oh, put that in the blooper reel. <laughs> All right. Seriously, though. Um, picture a scenario where you're getting invited to brunch, and especially if you're the third wheel. You know, you gotta watch you know, your friend and... Their girlfriend or boyfriend going wah, 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 lovey dovey, and you're just like, <clears throat> you know, you uh, you don't want to be there, but you want to be there anyway to support your friend in their relationship. And or or they said they had a blind date for you, and she didn't show up because she probably saw that what you look like or what you do like, and she's like, no, nah, that's not for me. But anyways, no, 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 let's not go into that scenario. Let's go to the scenario of being the third wheel, being bored, and you want to have a drink, and you go, excuse me, waitress, excuse me, um, yeah, can, you, got, you got an alcohol, a mimosa, fuck is a mimosa, champagne, nah, we ain't no celebrating, no, 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 anything harder than that, you don't, well, have no fear, because there are some places that actually do serve some alcohol, all you got to do is say the magic word, and that is, Irish cream, baby, or Irish coffee, that is. Irish coffee. You got the coffee right here? I got my coffee. And uh, right now, what we're going to be trying is, uh, usually they use Bailey's Irish cream, but we picked up Kirkland's Irish cream. You guys should find this in Costco. And no, uh, we're not sponsored by Costco. We're not like that shitty movie, The Night Watch, with Ben Stiller. Ugh, the movie sucked. But yeah, we're just going to try this stuff. Irish cream liqueur. You know, that's what the Irish cream is. So you take the coffee. And yeah, as much cream you want, you know, depending how messed up you want. Don't add too much, though, because you might lose the coffee taste. But then again, if you don't really care about the coffee taste, you know, so be it. <laughs> All right. So, um, honestly, I've never tried it. Uh, so let's just try right now. I'm gonna say, uh, it does have that daily taste. It does. Um, it's like right spot on. You know, Bailey's Irish cream, you know, um, definitely used for Irish coffee. I like it, I really do. Uh, I would say in rating for the liquor, I would say I give it five bottles, honestly. You know, for the taste alone, I mean, wow. Um, so with the design itself, it's gonna be hard to see because it's grass over here. We are using a green screen. So I do apologize for that. Now you see a little cabin. Uh, matter of fact, can you put it right, right here or right there? Perfect. Um, a little country cabin, you know, kind of kind of gives you that old Irish, the old Irish look. Uh, I like the artwork. I do. I, you know, I think that's what attracted me to buy it the most. Um, besides it being Irish cream liquor, you know, it's you know such a cheap price. Uh, we're gonna get to that in a minute though. But the look wise, I do like the look wise. I do like that old, um, you know, Irish. Um, you know, setting. So I, 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 I'm gonna give it four bottles. Give it four bottles just for the, you know, the look itself. Uh, the buzz value. Uh, going back to this, I should never drop. I never, never put it down. Seventeen percent. Seventeen percent alcohol. I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with seventeen percent, especially if you're at a brunch. I'm pretty sure that uh, if you drink like I don't know two or three more of these, you're gonna be like. drooling on yourself and then your friends will be like I told you not to bring this asshole because he drinks too much and he fucking uh, <laughs> uh no but uh alcohol wise uh buzz value I should say 
I give it five bottles. 15, sorry, seventeen percent. You cannot go wrong with that. Uh, would I get it again? Definitely. Uh, this is a very cheap solution uh, for Bailey's because I remember Bailey's when I was in the store. It was like twenty-three dollars for like this kind of uh, size bottle. 23 24 this on the other hand was 17 1799 1799 so basically uh if you take the 99 cents off it was like a dollar per percent of alcohol that's in this bottle and this is a big bottle you know you can you can bake plenty of irish coffee you know whether you're in a brunch situation uh buy you know buy those little liquor bottles or you know pouring it into the coffee just in case they don't have it or you could spend it at home you know uh Try to make the day start. Get you kicked. Uh, get your day fixed. You know. Right, I'm gonna have some more of this. Mm. Who's that? Some pancake too, man. You know. Have some pancakes. Look, waitress, can I get a, can I get a knife? Waitress, waitress, waitress. Mm. Ma'am, excuse me. All right. So the next thing we're gonna try out uh, is something that you got for breakfast. Uh, I know we mentioned that the, the mimosa thing is, doesn't really float on our boat. Well, it doesn't float my boat anyways, because I don't feel like celebrating anything. I just want to get down, ride drunk, or a little tipsy anyway, a little buzz feeling before I have to start the day. So I'm going to go with the screwdriver. Unfortunately, though, we do not have any vodka. I'm looking at you, Poemo. You messed up on this one. <laughs> but they wanted me to actually try, since we already did uh, liquor, they wanted me to actually try a brew. You know, that's what they consider this a brew, because it is uh, carbonated. Uh, a Smirnoff Ice Screwdriver. Now, I haven't had Smirnoff since my early days in my 20s. Oh, back in those days when I had such youthful sight. <laughs> oh, back in those days. Anyways, though, um, I haven't had a Smirnoff since it was regular Smirnoff. So, uh, at first when I was offered to actually do a review for this, I was like, no way, because Smirnoff is 4.5% alcohol. But then I was enticed with the alcohol volume itself. Now, we're gonna, I'm gonna get to that in a minute. I brought back my old trusty friend, the mug, and it's been sitting here for a while. The ice is actually diluted. Uh, we just drank the water out of it. I don't want to dilute anything. I want everything pure, but I do want it to be cold. Now, I don't mix any ice with any brew unless it's a cocktail like this. So at least you guys can actually understand that. Um, we don't need the trusty bottle opener as you saw be twisted off to twist off uh, so but I am gonna say tilt the glass while you pour she may never know I mean this thing is supposed to be carbonated I'm gonna take the whole thing in there no oh, I can't fit the whole thing in there ah. all right no I got something to drink for later uh, so anyways as you can look at it, it looks just like orange juice but it has a carbonation to it and uh, let's taste it. I hope it does taste good. I mean, I really don't, I really strike out when it comes to this stuff, like the poor local crap and all that. Oh God. Oh my God, that tastes delicious. It actually tastes like orange juice. And honestly, I barely taste the alcohol, but I can feel that buzz kick in a little bit. Um, that's that's perfect. I, lo I love stuff like that. I love like, um, you really can't taste the alcohol. I mean, it depends on the alcohol. I mean, I'm not really a big vodka drinker, uh, per se, because I used to be a big vodka drinker until that one day I really got uh, carried away and kind of threw up everywhere. <laughs> uh, anyways, this is really good, though. I say taste value, five bottles, automatically, hands down, five bottles. We got the taste value down, so let's look at the bottle design. Really, it's not that special. I mean, you know, if you look right, right up there, right there, depending on where the producer puts the uh, picture, uh, but you see like little orange peels on the side. It's really not that. I mean, it lets you know that it's orange, you know. Uh, it's basic, you know. I'm sorry, Smirnoff, you really didn't go all out. You didn't hire no, uh, you know, fans, artists to actually do it. Uh, so I say with the bottle design itself, I have to give it to, you know. I'm sorry. I mean, very bland, very, you know. All right, and the buzz value. Now, this is what I was talking about before, and this is why I wanted to review it. And that is the buzz value, which is labeled right here, which I love. I love the fact that that's why I basically, another reason why I went from a two to the three uh, for the bottle design, because it does show the label. It does show the alcohol contents right here. 5.8% uh, alcohol. That is more than Budweiser, ladies and gentlemen, and that is fucking awesome. And that's gonna make you want to finish this whole plate when you're downing it, because it, 
once you get this in the coffee, you're all set. You're all set. You're just gonna be like that friend that, that those that the couple is gonna have to work together to drag your ass out because you're gonna be passed <laughs> out <laughs> on your damn breakfast. <laughs> uh, would I get it again? Definitely. Um, I definitely get this again. I get definitely get the liqueur again. Honestly, this was a big fucking breakfast. Big, big, uh, really good breakfast. I got some eggs right here. You know, let me have some eggs. Mm. Still can't get that knife, right? Miss, miss, miss. Uh, waitress, ma'am? Uh, all right, well. I'm only gonna chug one of these. Um, and that is, I am gonna chug uh, the coffee. Yeah. Uh, they always say liquor before beer, you're in the clear. Uh, so that I want to do that, you know. I know it's very weird to chug uh, some coffee, you know. But hey, the brew review, you know, everybody always mix it up with coffee. Kind of ironic. So um, I'm going to chug this uh, Irish cream liqueur with some coffee. And um, I'm going to chug this one a little later. Uh, maybe for a promotion for, uh, you know, Facebook, which you guys can actually follow me on Twitter. Uh Instagram, I'm putting all the pictures. Anyways, for the past, in the present, and for the future, guys, I know. Next brew review might be stone cold crazy. Just tune in. Anyways, until then, keep it brutal. Put that in the blooper reel.